am Rucha. Welcome back to our channel. I'm super glad to see that a lot of you are enjoying our videos. I've come up with a different landscape painting this time. It is tulip fields. In the last time's lakeside flower painting, it was a little different because we painted each and every flower individually because that was a main foreground element. In this case, it's a flower bed, so we have to give an impression that there are a lot of flowers rather than focusing on a tiny bit of them. I'll show you how to paint this now. Let's start. First things first, which is composition of the painting. Since it's a flower bed, I'm composing the painting in such a way that the flowers get more attention. I'm checking where I can place the windmill. Drawing the windmill, I'm marking boundaries for the flower beds. I'll start the painting with the sky, for which I'm using Magnes Hue and Titanium White. Sienna and black for the grass. I like using the windmill in this painting because it being a magnet structure adds to the contrast. I'm painting it using burnt sienna, black, titanium white and ochre. To paint the blades make sure that you use the smallest brush available. If the lines are not that thin, don't lose patience, it only comes with practice. I'm marking the flower bed boundaries using green and burn sienna. And I'm painting the grass with permanent deep green and ochre yellow. So here since it's a flower bed, we aren't really focusing on each flower. With the help of shadows and highlights, we'll only give an impression that there are a lot of flowers. Likewise, I'm painting the base color of other flower beds. I'm going to use a combination of pyrrole orange, magenta, cadmium yellow, and pink. You can explore and use any combination you like. I'm repeating the color 
as orange, red and pink. Shadows and highlights, I'm giving an impression of the grass. As for the flower bed, we are only going to focus on the flowers which are in the foreground. Paint only those flowers and give shadows and highlights to give an impression for the rest. I'm using a darker shade for the shadows and added white or yellow for the highlights. shadows and highlights for the rest. I get asked a lot of times that even if you follow certain things, the painting still doesn't look like you had expected. I only have one answer to it, which is practice. There is no other way around it. The more you practice and observe things, the better your painting will be. Be patient and don't be so hard on yourself, especially if you have just started painting. process that is paint the flowers in the foreground and use highlights and shadows for the rest. Process. If you did, do hit like and subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of such videos coming soon. And don't forget to click the bell icon because it will notify you every time we upload a new video. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.